Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Isengard campaign. It's been a while now. Um, we are getting attacked by this large uh, mortar army. Uh, if you remember, we were besieging Durthan and Ren the Unclean, the Nazgul, uh, is coming in from behind. Uh, but we got a pleasant surprise for him. A couple of Uruk Reavers ready to welcome him. Um, and we have uh, some war riders going to eat up this general before this army can do anything. So I think we should be able to handle this situation quite well. Um, these guys are just going to start attacking these guys immediately as they come in. And we're just going to be able and just take them out in a small little corner. The wargs um, is going to try to get a nice flank over here. I really just want to get... Oh no, that's not going to work. We need a proper charge. Killing their general. Now let's see if this works out. This should work out. Nope, it didn't. We'll have to do another charge, it looks like. Uh, Alright, the temple wards are now in though. Uh, oh Jesus, you're not going to fire over there. We are just going to completely surround these guys. And it should work out fine. Let's send over these guys as well. The wargs, they are doing fine at the moment. We'll have to kind of follow. Um, so we'll give these uh, infantry a nice uh, volley of arrows once they come. Um, these guys might actually shoot up these two units, uh, three units, but it will be fine. It's worth it to get those temple units uh, done. Let's see. The running guard is over here. Uh, I'm just going to keep um, these works alive, so I'm going to wait a bit longer. Now, definitely start firing as soon as you can. You as well. Give these guys a welcoming message from Isengard. Now, sniping out generals is one of the most effective ways. Um, of dealing with large orc armies. Uh, I don't really know what unit the general is in now. It's, yeah, it's this guy actually. Let's try to get him. Now, Saruman, you're going to aim at the maulers when possible. You as well hit the maulers. They don't actually have any archers as, at all in this army. Okay, just keep running. You guys are doing well over here. Um, let's flank in the back with these guys. Now just hit. Oh, you are getting some nice hits. This ballista have really gotten some work off lately. Can, I suppose you could come over and charge over here. You are going to charge into the back of these temple marksmen. I guess we could send some berserkers over um, just to make sure we get these guys properly. And remember, these are temple marksmen. This is not a rabble. Main line is looking good for now. Some troops are already routing, that's exactly what we want. Let's just keep holding this uh, position and we're going to take minimal losses. We have already lost 7% and I believe that most of those casualties is probably from um, the Uruk Reavers, if I'm not mistaken. Let's try to give these smallers a charge in the back. All of the so Archers is just going to hit these guys now. Nice charge into the Orc Mollers. Let's uh, retreat and get another charge. Oh, they're actually routing now. Let's just capture them then. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Yeah, the Temple Marksmen are definitely going down now. Uh, the temple wards though, they're holding up quite well. 
Uh, but we'll be able to surround them once the Temple Marksmen are dead. Uh, just move them out for a little bit. The lo it actually looks like the Moranian Guard is going and try to aid over here. So we're going to just help them a little bit. Let's just try to wrap the entirety of these guys. Yeah, they wrap them instantly. Everyone just target these guys. And you hit the... the enemy yeah, bloody. hit these guys. They have lost half their men. Alright, Saruman, you will, um, will help over here. You guys are now finished with the Temple Marksman. That's wonderful. You move over here and surround the Temple Marksman where the Nazgul is. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Let's be a bit on the aggressive part right here. We're just going to send out all of our infantry now. And actually, I think we could send Salman over here. Uh, we also want to make sure that these temple wards don't rout. Um, and that the Nazgul is able to leave the battle intact. Uh, you are going to stop firing now. You just capture units. You guys are actually still not routed. You should be able to now though. You keep capturing these units. And I guess all of these guys could hit the Orc Mollers. We should potentially get some reinforcements over here. Uh, the Berserkers, let's just send them over here instead. I guess we should have sent Saruman. Let's surround them completely. The Wargs just keep capturing units. Uh, Urukai Raiders go over here. Archers just capture units you as well. You're going to surround over here. Some of these units are actually returning to the battle, but they will be slaughtered anyways, it doesn't really matter. Saruman just hit them as well. Just have them all in guard mode, nobody escapes. You can take the Orcos, just make them route. There we go. Okay, we should have brought some more cavalry so this didn't take such a long time. However, we're still fighting over here. These guys are definitely doing some nice work. Temple wards are one of the uh, units you really want to use. And as Angmar, you can also use them uh, as your, because you have the faction general which uh, uses them, Agendaur. So we're definitely going to see some gameplay of them in uh, the Angmar campaign. Now Saur Sauron has also received a new bodyguard. As some of you might know, and I really want to play Mordor at some point. However, I kind of want to wait for the next version, even though that's a very long time in the future, because then Mordor will get a subjugation system. However, if there comes a, uh, a sub mod where you're able to recruit units from other factions, uh, other orc factions, and in general uh, Gondor and such, because I think Mordor should be able to recruit certain units from uh, different factions like the modern Dundan has and uh, the mod developers are planning this as well uh, it's just that they haven't really been able to or they haven't really prioritized it yet so we'll still have to wait for a bit for it and uh, you just bring them down come on there we go perfect and the works did not capture those guys. I think we'll still capture Dorthang, 
Now let's just speed this up. Here is the render unclean. They definitely got a lot of kills. Our reavers are completely broken. Uh, but I don't really know what other units we should have thrown at them, which would have been better. Ah, the Nazgul is taken down by um, a servant of Saruman himself. In his personal bodyguard. That's excellent. Now there's only this one temple ward left. Come on. And there we go. Let's end the battle. 474 lost, 3200 killed. We are doing excellent. Uh, 222, the Urukai archers performed very well. How much did the Warg Riders, uh, Warg Marauders, got 125 and they captured almost 1000 units? I've always wondered how these units are getting captured. Like, how can 70 Wargs um, pile all these uh, orcs up in? Are they, are, like, are they capturing the orcs and just piling them up in um, bags? I don't know. However, it is possible with these works. That's Medieval 2 meta. 4326 is the going down. And they are moving out of Uzgokut. And they are moving up from Osithil. No surprises there. We're going to sack the settlement. And we're going to break down the Black Towers which recruits the Black Numenoreans, so that they're never seen in this part of the world again. I really think that uh, Isengard's faction, the last alliance, oh yeah. Uh, I really think that um, Isengard's faction should have been able to actually uh, recruit Temple Wards from this place. Um, sadly they cannot. We can recruit trolls here in 17 turns. That's awesome. Um, we have, yeah, we don't really need to build anything at all. We can get the ballista as a, a garrison unit though. They, oh yeah, it's us actually that is besieging Henneth Anun and we'll be taking them out this turn. Gorgas and Haku is coming though. Uh, we'll be able to perhaps just hold them on this bridge. Um, and Goddor hasn't really been doing anything at all to try to stop us. Now, let's see here. Let's go over to the west. Um, Captain General Namir. If we attack him, I think they should all sally out. We could wait for Kirion and hope that they that they will sally out then. Noruvian yeah, is just lone. Won't really be able to do much. We have loads of money now, though. Ready, put ready. Hurry up. This way. Kedalon, this. Yeah, they still have a lot of troops there. Uh, you guys could potentially head down and take Tharagrondos. But I think I rather want to expand this uh, way over here. You guys should move up together. Okay, let's see. It's been a while since I have been recording this episode. Even though uh, the episode has been uploaded as usual, I haven't really played it in a while. Been pre-recording a lot of the episodes and that's why. Uh, we already have some crossbows here. Uh, I'm tempted to go for the Temple of Melkor, but I guess we should get uh, some more units out of this place. Yeah, I guess we could send these. Oh yeah, we were, we were actually preparing for Uzgokut, of course. I completely forgot about that. Um, let's just get more troops. Let's get the barracks as well. We can get more troops here as well. I think it's about time that we start pushing for Lorien in not too long. Because the things in the east are going so well. Throg, oh yeah, he's heading over here, and he is going to acquire all the armies. You guys are joining Othrod. 
Let's just keep you in this fort for now, just the same on it. No sleeping here. Put your feet up. No sleeping here. Listen up. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. Get ready for fighting. Come on. Regroup, you loud. Put your feet up. Okay. Let's get to practice range here, just so that we have some archers for Lafleurin as well. Now we are building stuff here. We can recruit maximum units. Oitimor, we can get the catapult now. Get units. Sag Ulkurs, same. Foundry, let's get it. Actually, let's save for the beast breeders now. Really want to get those real elites. How long is it until we can get the pikemen and such? Um, we will have enough culture in two turns. Okay, we're going to take out Henneth Arnun uh, and Saruman. Get ready for fighting. Once again, you're going to head out and conquer the lands of Mordor. If you can leave behind... That will be nice. The Black Gate is ready for the taking. However, we can't really properly defend it, but um, it's definitely a worthwhile target. We are getting the units that we need. Uh, however, I'm going to block this bridge. Saglun, you're going to prove yourself to Saruman. Ushkol has already proved himself, now it's your turn, you fat Uruk. Let's uh, get these guys here. Let's get the archers, and let's just pick the elites, to be honest. Let's get lots of archers and some berserkers. All of these guys can actually join because uh, they don't have free upkeep anyways. That should make them tempted at to attack us. Do we even need more troops? I don't really think so. Uh, I'm going to take out Henneth Arnun. Alright, I will just fight this battle off camera. And I will be right back. Alright, I just auto resolved it. Didn't really want to play that battle. Now, Henneth Arnun is ours. Let's suck it. And... Beautiful. Uh, it was probably not that smart to suck it, actually. Culture is not too bad, but we still need a bit more to actually be able to recruit our elite. So let's just go for this one. And I think we can have a lot of units uh, stationed here, to be honest. Three plus two. That's excellent. That's five units we have in. Yeah, okay. Really want to, yeah, we're already recruiting lots of units. And we'll be able to recruit here in not too long yet, uh, as well. And we'll get the Moranon. There's just no limits to our progression now. Need to rename these settlements as well, I gotta remember that. Okay. In the West. Let's see. These guys, they have a quite large garrison. I'm going to try to attack General Namir and see if they take the bait. Let's hope they do. And they do. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. However, we're not going to be able to capture a lot of troops because we don't have troops, because we don't really have um, cavalry. But we will obliterate them on the field of battle. Um, so I'll probably, probably see on the battlefield. The Uruks are running for their lives. They're going to ambush the uh, reinforcements. Just look at these guys. Let's do a slow-mo. Berserkers ready to swing their heavy, heavy swords. Whatever this weapon is called. It looks like a very, very heavy sword. Um, Pikemen 
from the hills of Dunland are ready to slaughter some cavalry. And then we have the general himself with his bodyguard, fiercest Uruks in his army. You're just going to start hitting this cavalry at once. And let's speed up. You can start hitting them already, actually. Oh, Jesus. It already looks like they have found their target. And this doesn't look promising. Urukai Raiders are someone that will get slaughtered in. Um, a charge, you see, they lost like 30 uh, Uruks. However, when this cavalry is getting charged, from our general in the back, it doesn't really matter. These guys seem to just run over to the other guys. It looks like the cavalry is going to... They're at least going down. Alright, uh, you guys stand like this. You like this, and you like this. And I will see you again once we are fighting. I don't know what's happening, but it looks like the general has decided to commit suicide. And you see the crossbow bolts are definitely hitting these guys properly. However, I think it's about time we send in the berserkers and our general. And let's just bring down these guys' pikes. And we can basically just surround them with all of our units. And I will skip until we do some more. Alright. It looks like they're finally going to start attacking us. We brought down the general. And we'll now see what is going to happen. I believe that this is the steward of Gondor at the moment. It would be nice to bring down him once again. I don't even have the count on how many times we have uh, brought the steward down at this point. Oh yeah, the crossbows getting some kills. It would be nice to have some better crossbows again. These guys are crossbows, but their missile attack is only like 6. And that's not really much to brag about. However, they will work as a early game unit. See, they still get a few kills. Uh, we are outnumbering them pretty much though, so I, I will simply just let uh, these guys just have a little arrow battle. We'll see what will happen. They should attack sooner or later, just simply because they they need to attack. Yeah, there we go. They will get crushed though. Nice charge. Okay. And the Turtle Guardsmen are going for the Berserkers. They're going to regret that. They don't know what they are facing up against. Look at that charge. Now let's surround these turtle guardsmen before these guys really understand what's happening. I guess we could just put down these pikes and start moving forwards. I think we are outnumbering them very heavily, so why not? You guys as well, just completely surround these guys. Uh, the general's bodyguard are upcoming though. Let's try to use the reavers against those. Because of the armor piercing. After all, let's see how much armor these guys actually have. They have 16. That's a superior target for armor piercing units. Uh, that's why you're going to run back. That's perfect. And now we hit back. Now we hit back. You start standing like this. Reavers, help out over here. Berserkers, attack the archer. So two horsemen, let's try to capture the Gondor militia. And uh, these pikemen I completely forgot about, let's just send them in now. Anfalis pikemen versus John Lennon pikemen. And the bodyguard. Hmm. 
would be interesting to see if these two Dunlending horsemen survives. Let's bring these guys up a little, a little bit closer. Ah, they're routing. Excellent. Now, we really wanted to surround the general though. You guys are going to start to try and capture as many as you can. Berserkers, aid over here. I doubt that these two horsemen can provide much. We might not be able to take out the settlement. These guys are almost routing. Should be easy. Now, if we place two guys over here, might route uh, the territory guardsmen, which is coming in from behind. Yeah, they're just routed actually. Didn't even need to do anything. Oh, uh, Jesus. Get out of there. Yeah, just attack the general from now on. Berserkers, you as well. This unit is a bit stuck, it looks like. Yeah. Go for Arch Militia. You go for the Militia. You bring out your pikes. You're getting targeted. Don't only have ca any cavalry to use over there. You guys are going to aid up here. You just hit these archers. You can't really run that slow. Come on. Go on. The only pain here is the archers. You, all of you guys are just going to hit straight for these guys. All of these guys are coming back to the battle, it's kind of stupid. And now you're going to see how you can defeat Python by surrounding them. This is going to be bad. But then the general goes and now they should we should route the entire army pretty quickly. Especially when these guys arrive as well. Uh, however you might want to go over here. I'm going to take a few casualties. It's fine. You guys just keep hitting guys over here and you as well. Don't be a shooting wall. There we go. Excellent. Let's just see if we can capture a bit more units. Definitely need to capture as many as we can. And we might be lucky and get a long gun. You guys just send arrows after them. The bodyguard unit for Isengard is actually really fast. They're running very, very fast. They're just really not. Let's see. They're now very tired though. You always want to make sure you capture as many units as possible. You'll get more money. And those units, you might be able to actually capture the city. Um, which the units are selling out from. Yeah, we're not going to be able to capture these guys. Uh, 301 lost, 1200 killed. Nice. If we didn't capture Longan, at least we gave them some large casualties. And we have reinforcing armies from um, the settlement um, in the northwest. And honestly, we could uh, we could definitely start pushing Gondor from two sides now. Instead of going full of floor in the Castle Doom, we're going to hit Gondor real hard, and they will suffer from it. Have mercy, my lord. Yeah, let's just execute them all. We the enemy. They were able to get a few reinforcements back, though. We should be able to take out their settlements fairly soon, though. 
That's unfortunate. Really need a, a war unit. We don't really have any works here, do we? No, we need to send some uh, works. Ah, we got the gods of Orthanc now. Uh, we'll get trolls in 15 turns. And we'll get uh, Urukai pikemen and Urukai infantry in one turn as well. Let's get these guys back. I want to train them. And let's just get another unit in Utut Oglok. Can't even recruit guys here. Alright, let's just get this one. Alright, it's not really that important actually. Legal second Isengard. Now, where do I want to send you guys? I guess you are going to be the start of the new um, strong army, which I'm going to try to acquire the ring with. I do want to send Saruman back soon because in I believe in turn 80 we'll know where the ring is, and I really want to get the ring by this by now. Uh, so we might want to send Saruman back as soon as possible. Saglun will hold against these guys. No worries there. Uh, should we build anything? Can just wait a little bit. We are gaining 7,000 a turn. No sleeping here! No sleeping here! Yeah, let's just save up the money. Uh, these guys will be able to form a strong army. And they will hit mortar hard. Uh, the wargs, that was the point. Let's just um, not forget about the wargs. Let's recruit another unit here and send them all the way down here. And I think that's going to be the turn. It was a long turn. Now getting the Nazk high and the ring is going to be the number one priority from now on. I'm willing to give up on water just to get a ring to be honest. The ring means a lot to me uh, by this point. However, we need to swap uh, Saruman for another general if we're going to be able to do so. They are pushing out units from Tharagrondost, probably trying to help out at um, over at Longal. It's a very prosperous region. Nazgul will return tomorrow. The ring is in Lothlorien. Wow. Hype, hype! All right, and we just finished. We can get Urukai pikemen, and we can get these guys. We're going to retrain the first legion. We are going to build a massive army, and we need to send Saruman back immediately. Oh, jeez, that's a strong army. Yeah, Lurch, you will have to take. Uh, can you actually? Oh wow, you can actually attack over here. I didn't know that. Hopefully he will attack. Lurts, we need you to take over. Can we let this guy take over? Yeah, he will be fine. That couldn't have been more perfect, to be honest. If there was one place the ring needed to be, it was Karath Galadon. We need to be there in like 20 turns, but how S should Saruman just head straight over to uh, Lothlorien? We might want to attack the Black Gate just to be able to escape over uh, this way and just head straight for it. I'm gonna stick you. They have large I'm armies coming now though. Um, Yeah, we really need to think this through. We don't have any units inside here at all. We need to start moving units uh, inside Mordor. No in we just need to recruit everything we can at this point. Get the crossbows. That's it, these guys as well. Listen up, listen up. 
You're going to hit Mortar from this side. Uh, yeah, these guys will be able to move in next turn. How are we going to let Saruman go all the way up to Lothlorien in time though? Yeah, we definitely need to take out the Moranon. We're going to lose these settlements. Uh, I'm not worried though. We have already taken or gained so much land. Um, and we will be able to hold these settlements now. So while Saruman is heading up northwards, I'm just going to make a new strong army uh, with Lurts. And we have Saglun here as well. Uh, he should be able to defend himself quite well. And let's just get Moran on them. That's a strong garrison, but they don't have any archers. So we should be able to just slaughter them, to be honest. Um, I will see you on the battlefield. Actually, I was going to play the battle, and then I saw that we had to attack from the other side. And I thought we were able to attack from this side. And then I'm definitely not going to attack them, because then we're going to take way too many casualties, because they get a very large garrison. So we, my plan is to let Nufal attack us the next turn, and then we are definitely going to win the battle, and um, then just head out over here, and head for Karaskaradhorn. I just hope we have the time, to be honest. Um, I think what we should do is uh, basically to just uh, start recruiting as many units as we possibly can, and um, just make the way up to Lothlorien much easier for Saruman. So we need to take out all the settlements that we possibly can. Uh, we need to go at war with Lorien. Uh, Uzgukut, we will take that first. And I will just let the the army stream uh, up uh, northwards. You are just going to join over here. So I think it's just time to recruit as many units as we can and just make a very large push. Um, Okay. Oh jeez, that was not supposed to happen. I was thinking about... Okay, now I don't remember. Uh, but I was thinking about recruiting a rit... I was thinking about retraining those guys, but I don't... We don't have any money at the moment. We need to wait a little bit. Uh, but if we take away a few couple of troops here... We need... To, like, I'm just going to place a ballista in Sagol course, and I'm going to just... Defend it very well. Um, we do not really need troops in in the other places at the moment. If we just hold, we can also bring some archers into here and hold this place properly. Captain Mognag is a pretty strong, has a pretty strong army. He can't attack Gundul's Couture's, but he can attack Henethanun. However, now they're going to be mad. Do we have stables here? No. Now, Urburs isn't really that well defended now. But um, we definitely just need to defend against this army and we will, should be fine. And we'll get the barracks here in one turn. Then we'll be able to recruit a lot more units. We need a proper general here to lead the army, so Othrod is going to be the main pusher. I suppose so we could send Ugluck also. We definitely just... We need to push for the ring uh, as heavy as we can. Let's retrain them and let's just get all of these guys. Okay, so Osgokut, our first target, then head for Thirith Anduin and Rockburg. I don't, I think it's 20 turns that they stayed there, so it should be possible. This battle is going to be quite hard though. They got Temple Wards and Temple Marksmen. 
Uh, Oi Ogurs is going to fall very shortly. But I'm not too concerned about losing these settlements. Uh, our main concern is of course the ring. Alright, let's hope they attack this army so that we can reposition these uh, units. That's definitely uh, needed at this point. Yeah, I was just really hyped about us finding the ring. That was about time. Alright, we can actually attack this settlement. That is wonderful. And that's going to bring us some more money. It didn't really give us as much money as I hoped it would. We'll have to see about it though. It will be very useful though in the long term. Boron. Kirion. We're now actually bordering Dol Amroth. That is interesting. I will only address you in battle. Come on! Need to leave a bit more units there. No sleeping here. Pick your feet up. Get ready. Listen up. Sleep for a few laps. Pick your feet up. We have company. Ready. This way. We don't have any troops here, but they have this guy, of course. Kirion. Just going to auto resolve that one as well. Let's just besiege this uh, for now. And they will probably attack us or we'll be able to take him out next turn. Let's just take a look at the armies we're just crossing. Yeah, it's only small battered armies. Don't really care about them. We need to start, uh, continue, keep pushing units over here as well though. Let's send these guys to the fort. What an interesting time to be alive. Now almost all of West Gondor is uh, completely claimed by Saruman. Lord of the Earth. Yeah, Witch King will take Oi Ogurs back. They're attacking the camp. And it looks like they are going for a bit. Thank God. This is going to be a heavy battle though. Um, I think we still have some time. They have two units. And this guy has... Wow. This is going to be... Perhaps the hardest battle we have fought so far. I think we're going to win, the, win it though. Alright, I will see you on the battlefield if we have time. I just realized this episode has been way longer than it should as usual. So this battle will have to wait for next episode. But then at least we'll get a hell of a battle. They have Uruks, they have Temple Marksmen, they have Temple Wards. And they have a Korahil, the Blind Sorcerer. And we have Saruman, Ballista, Berserkers, some Wargs, and some Uruks. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, make sure to check out my Angmar campaign if you're not already watching it. Um, it has started pretty great, to be honest. Um, leave a like, leave some feedback, what I can do better and what I, uh, I do very good. And um, subscribe if you like my content. I'll see you guys for the next episode.